Finally, welcome along to a video of mowing. Uh, mowing a bit of third cut at the minute. Uh, what day is Beginning of September. Uh, like you can see, I got the 6480 with the class 3200 disco on the front and the class 3150 on the back. Uh, the back mower, we'll have a look at this one first and show you. This one, very similar to my old one. Uh, my old mower was a coon mower, so it's a 10 foot plain disc mower and it's a, a heel mount mower. So it means this sort of pivots here, not in the middle. Um, so it's sort of the, it's more kind of the farmer model I'd say, not quite so heavy duty. Um, so far, yeah this one is a good mower, very pleased with it. Easier to hitch on and unhitch off the tractor than the old version, our old Kuhn one, a lot easier so far. The, the modern Kuhn one obviously could be, they may have improved it hitch on and off as well, I don't know, we didn't look at it. But yeah, so far, very pleased with this mower, does a good job, easy to attach, detach like I just said, and does a nice clean cut, and easy to set up, um, yeah, very pleased with that mower. Now the front mower is quite a new model from Klaas. This is the 3200F, which is a plain disc mower. But it's the disco, disco move. Now this is the first front mower that we've owned and run, so I can't tell you if it's better than any other make, or I don't know. But so far, I'm pleased with it. It um, does a nice clean cut. You see on the ground here. Yeah. Leaves nice clean stubble. It uh, and follows the ground well. So far, so happy. So let's jump in and have a look. So, like you can see, the mower working now. Um, now this mower, the 3200 Disco Move is a new one from class because it's a I think it's what you class as a pull along mower because the linkage on the front of the machine the mower linkage suspension system sort of pulls the bed along as opposed to the 3200F which is direct linked to the arms on the tractor and it uses the arms of the tractor as a suspension system and I think that's class as like a push along mower um, uh, I, like I said just now, I, I haven't used any other make of mower other than a class so far. Um, we did have a 3200F on loan from Rivley Tractors, very kindly. They lent us a 3200, well an FC it was actually. Um, they lent it to us because uh, this disco move hadn't come in. So that's the only other front mower I've used. Now there's not a massive amount of difference I'd say in the quality of cut. They run the same mowing beds. Um, the suspension systems are very different. But where you do notice the difference then is when you get into more rougher undulating ground and you want to sort of push the pace on a bit. If you want to sort of get on and get up a couple of gears, that's where we notice the the disco move will follow the ground much better but if you're on flat land I don't know if the 3200F would be fine possibly I don't know it must be fine the class have been making the 3200F for years um, I suppose they've made this disco move to keep up with the competitors who offer offer different suspension types on their mowers um, the Disco Move does have more grease points and things on it compared to the 3200F because obviously it's got its own integrated suspension but I mean uh, a couple of grease points ain't too bad because it stops having the th Disco Move would sort of cut out a lot of wear and tear on your front linkage of the tractor so it's sort of six one half dozen the other really it all depends what your preference is but so far, I have to say, very pleased with this disco move. Um, yeah, it's, it's typical class machine, really. It's well thought out. Lots of neat touches on it, like the handle for the 
changing the blades, the quick fit blades just drops into headstock. Um, you can run this front mower either on an A-frame or direct to the tractor like we've got it set up. Um, there's a box on each mower, the Disco Move and the 3150 to carry spare blades. Um, yeah, yeah it's, it's well finished and well thought out. The, um, it does require two spools or auxiliaries, but we've only got one on our front linkage on the tractor. Um, you knew there's one spool used to live, raise the mower in and out of work, and another one then is used for the um, suspension system, the to pressure the accumulators. Uh, but you only really need to pressure those at the start of the day, turn the tap, and then you can pop your pipe out, and you can see on the front there now the pipe is in a nice holder on the headstock there. Um, you should be able to see on the right-hand side now the um, the red dial. That's the pressure gauge. So you want that up on the mark when you when the mower was in work. And once you set that, yeah, like I said, you can shut the tap and you can pop the pop the pipe back out.